Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to B&G Games and Videos. I'm B. This is... I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassment. Embarrassment. And we also have... I... Sean Tomaji. Yay! With us today. <laughs> Yay! We clap in our hands. Okay, so <laughs> great to have you with us, Sean. The one-handed clap. The, 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 the one, we can do the one-handed clap together. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're, wearing, we're wearing the earphones. We're wearing the earphones so you don't get echoes. That, so anyway, okay. So welcome back to another edition of B and G's Q and A, in which we turn the Q and A uh, episodes around and we pick two members of our watches game community and ask them questions and then ask a round of questions to the general viewers out there it's like canadian bacon but with less trans fans exactly exactly so we're going to start off today with our first watches game member uh he is one line derek all right my question for one line derek is this where does your name come from I, I, I'm seriously asking this way, whenever we bring you back up on another video, he's not going to automatically assume that it has to do with cocaine. So, but I, I am I'm curious. I'm going to do that anyway. Where did, where did one line Derek come from? That's my question. In case it does come from cocaine. Yeah, well, unless it does come from cocaine. Then <laughs> tell me. Then tell us. <laughs> so this is G's question. Um, if you're going to be in a type of line, what type of line would it be? Like, would you want to be in a conga line or a lunch line or a phone line? That's a good there question. are lots of lines. There are a lot of lines. What line would you want to be in? One line, Derek? A monkey line. So our next member from the Watch This Game community is... No more Bronin time. Games. Nope. Bronin Games. Nope. Bronin Games. Ah. Uh, there we go. Uh, <sighs> Brad from Bronin Games. My uh, question to you is this. You have a bunch of action figures behind you in a lot dolls. of your videos. They're not dolls. They're dolls. action figures. Dolls. Of those action figures, yeah. what is the one, the one action figure that is the do not touch? If this gets touched, I will go ballistic because it's that important to you. The, the, the one that you, you don't want to lose its value, that you don't even pe want people to look at. That's the question I have. I think you. I know which one it is. Which one is it? It's probably going to be his limited edition Cartoon Network Johnny Bravo stand-up kung fu action figure in. Is it that one? It comes with the Ed and Nettie set. So, G's question for you, Brad, is this. Look, okay, I realize you're from the Canadia. Okay, are you friends with Rick Moranis? I figured everyone up there has to be, because he's like a small country, and he seems like a nice guy. What's he been doing? Could you give me, could you give him a call for me? I'd like to talk to him. I have an idea for a movie. Okay. It's called Southern Exposure. <laughs> In which a Canadian gets stuck down in Florida. Yes. Okay. And he ends up marrying a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll play John Candy. Okay. So that's our question for our two member channels of uh, Watch This Game Community. Yes, Jamie Fleck for John Candy. John Candy, we love you wherever you are. Um, heaven. Heaven. He is in heaven. So now we're moving on to our questions for the for our general viewership and. Last time, if you don't remember, we said that if we got 25 uh, general answer comments, we would sing, we would choose one of the answers and sing it. But we didn't get 25. We got close, and a lot of the answers were really awesome. Some of them were stupid. They were not stupid. They were stupid. They were not stupid. They were totally stupid. They were not stupid. One of them, however, stood out that we absolutely love. And it the one was that I gave? No. No, not the one you gave. It was from Sean, from Shantology. Who's that? The woman that we are currently having a conversation <laughs> with on this video. We're doing what now? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Anyway, here is her answer from last week. Uh, if, if you remember, we asked in, in a fight between Doctor Who and Darth Vader who would can win. I, I? And if you were trapped on a flaming school bus with a rabid animal, what would you name him? Here's Sean's answer for my question. Darth Vader would clearly win. He's far too badass for any doctor. Okay, now... That was the that was the simple answer to my question. Here is the answer to G's question. I'd call the animus Sir Maximus Lockridge the third, because if he set the bus on fire, he had to be pretty clever to do so. If he wasn't the one who set it on fire and was just in the bus, I would just name him Paul. <laughs> <laughs> good names. Yeah, very good names. I, I actually <laughs> Sir Maximus Lockridge, I think is awesome. Sounds like a character <laughs> from the Redwall books. Yeah. <laughs> So, in honor of her, of her awesome answer from last week, we decided to, instead of me asking the question, I'm going to give Sean the chance to ask her question to the general viewers out there. So, Sean, do you have a question for us? 
Uh, I do. My question is, if you had to spend the rest of your life with one video game character in their world, who would it be and why? Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm thinking, is there ever a video game character that just lived in pudding? I'm sure there's a pudding simulator out there. Because that'd be a great world. Yes, okay. <laughs> I, I want to live in the pudding kingdom. <laughs> That is an awesome question, Sean. So, be sure to answer that in our comments. Uh, otherwise, you can answer G's question, which is this. If you're gonna make something haunted, besides like a house, what would you do? I'd like to think I'd make like a haunted, like, goat. <laughs> yeah, when you come and be like a petting zoo, you're like, oh, this is so cute, look at the goat. And they're gonna pet it, and you just get frightened out of your poots. <laughs> okay. It, G's Haunted Goat Emporium. And so that wraps up our Q&A for this week. And until next time, I'm B, this is G, this is Sean, and... Don't go to Disney World, America. Or Disneyland. I forget which one it is, but they got the measles. If you go there, you gotta wear a, like a, like a, a bulletproof suit. This is G, this is Sean, and... Yeah, you know how they have Montezuma's Revenge on in Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, if you go over to France and you drink the water, it's called Jacques Cousteau's Revenge. And uh, instead, of, instead, of, instead of pooping over the place, yeah. you, 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 you just wear a little beanie hat. I'm B, this is G, this is Sean, and... You're only really truly really British if you've had crumpets with a queen. So until next time, I'm B, this is G, this is Sean, and... Last week, I swam right across to America, and I'm actually living there as a hermit. And finally... Until next time, I'm B, this is G, this is Shantology, and remember, the game you play could be your own. Take care. Oh, I got indigestion something fierce. Oh, dear. <laughs>